Okay, so guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm kind of have a feeling that if I'm not pregnant, I'm about to get pregnant. <laughs> I know that's how we always all feel when we're after the two week wait and we haven't quite got our period and we're testing and getting negative tests, but I'm not really having much symptoms, but I just have a feeling that this may be it. So this video isn't about that. I'm just now uploading a video about that. So I'm not gonna get into that. I do wanna talk about the Conceive Easy. What do they call it? Let's see. Conceive Easy Get Started TTC Kit. So I decided to get this because since December 2019, Matter of fact, let's just say November 2018, me and my boyfriend have been having unprotected sex. We're doing what we would like to call trying, but not preventing. No, wait, not trying, not preventing. There we go. So um, we're at a point in our life where we love each other. We don't see ourselves being with anyone else. So why not? make our family bigger. Uh, we just got a new spot. It's an apartment, but it's roomier. So if we were to bring a life into this family, we would have plenty of room. And um, we both got better jobs, bigger promotions. He gets paid more than me, but that's totally fine. Um, and we decided why not make things bigger. And we decided we were just gonna have fun with it, do it the all natural way. Even though I have a history of things, you can watch my earlier videos to find out about that. And I told him, you know what? I want to document this. I don't care if I get one or two or 300 million followers at the end of this, but I want to document this. And the day that I do find out I'm pregnant, I want to be having the proof. I want the evidence. Well, months and months and months and months and months went by. Um, in the month of November, when we first started to have um, unprotected sex, I had a very faint positive on a first response. He even saw it. My coworker saw it because I had took one at my job first. That was a blue test, blue line test. Decided not to trust that and get a pink one. Got a faint line on the pink. We were definitely blindsided by that. And I'm sorry, I'm going to get to the review on this, but I just want to give you a little bit of background. Um, we were definitely blindsided by that. We didn't expect to get a positive so quickly, but we did. And unfortunately, it ended in a chemical pregnancy. Uh, the test got darker the next day and then got lighter immediately the next day after that. So... And then I started to bleed, bleed and bleed and bleed. And I bled from uh, mid-December to about the end of January. I bled for five weeks. So, yeah, it was really bad. Ended up having to get on progesterone. He had me take it... Um, for um, 10 days, yeah, 10 days every 20th. So when the 20th came, I would take it for 10 days, then it would start my period to help regulate my periods. Weren't getting pregnant, weren't getting pregnant, weren't getting pregnant, and here we are. We are in 2020 in November, and I decided last month I was gonna order this. Um, he doesn't know because I don't want him knowing that I'm trying to get help with conceiving. Cause like I said, he wanted to have fun, do it all natural. After a year, if we hadn't got pregnant, then we would go see doctors and incorporate these things. But you know what? What he don't know won't hurt him. And he don't know about my YouTube channel. So it's all right. So this, it came looking like this, which was great. Cause I was really worried it would come in some big ass beautiful box with uh babies and pacifiers and shit all over it but it didn't 
didn't say nothing about fertility or anything on the box, which made me happy. As soon as you open the box, you see this up top. In the inside, it has a chart for you to temp, which I do not do, which maybe I'll start doing if I don't get pregnant within these last two months of this year. Um, then I'll start temping and being more serious about taking OPKs and things like that. I kind of randomly take them right now. Um, but yeah. Uh, comes with instructions. Read before using, like everything should be read before you use it. Um, another little piece of paper it says conceive easy. Um, not a bill, it says, but it lets you know all the tracking information and everything like that. So in my box, let me go grab my pouch. Give me one second. <laughs> Sorry, you guys probably heard all that booming and banging around, but in my box, because I pretty much took everything out, it came with two bottles of pills. Um, one pink bottle that is for, I guess, the first month, and one blue bottle for the second month. I don't think it matters if you start on the pink or blue, but I started with the pink. And, um, oh, those are my acid pills. And then also it came with, I put them in this couch, a couple one-step ovulation test sticks, a couple early result pregnancy test strips, sticks, and then a couple of these cheapy I haven't used, which I don't think I will use. A couple of these cheapy pregnancy test strips, the little cheapy ones, little thin, thin ones that you dip into the urine cup. And then also ovulation ones. Now, I was really disappointed because I thought this one was going to come with the thermometer like they advertise on the website. Mine did not come with a thermometer. Oh, sorry. The sun is really messing up my lighting. Let me get you guys a little closer. Anyway, mine did not come with a thermometer, so I was really, really, really upset. But it's okay. I can get a thermometer anywhere, and I can get it off of Amazon. I can go to a drugstore. I can go to any other store and get a thermometer, so it's whatever. So I started taking them October 5th. Let me show you how big the pill is, because I've seen pictures of some that look like freaking horse tranquilizers. They're huge. But this one is a little bitty pill. It reminds me of B12. Um, not the color of the pill, but the size of it. It reminds me of B12. It's uh, not a bad pill to swallow at all. There's no taste. There's no aftertaste. There's no burps. Nasty burps that it gives you like fish oils. Some fish oils and uh, krill oils. But I've taken it for exactly a month now. And Friday was the month, one month anniversary of me taking this. I haven't felt a single side effect. The only thing I will say, and I'm only saying it for now because I'm not sure if it's my body or the pill that's causing it, but I started taking this a couple days into my period. Last month, my period started on October 2nd. I started taking it on the 5th, and I think my period ended on like the 6th. So two or three, Two and a half weeks into taking this, I started to spot. I was really upset because I was like, oh no, these pills caused my period to start early. But it was a very weird spotting. It was like little pieces of clots and tissue. TMI, sorry. You already know how these videos go. Uh, little pieces of clots and tissue and things like that. And not a lot of blood. And it only lasted for about a day and a half. Then it went away. I test, took a pregnancy test. Nothing. Then now, right now, I'm having spotting and this one is like I had a lot, a lot, a lot of discharge, a lot of creamy discharge, um, normal creamy, but it was still a lot, a lot more normal than I would get if I was getting my period. 
then it turned to regular creamy white discharge to light pink tinge discharge discharge and then it went to a red spotting barely enough for a pad and then today light pink and barely anything today i just went to the bathroom about 45 minutes ago and it was nothing when i wiped and nothing on the pad new so i don't know keeping you guys posted i didn't take my pill for today so i'm gonna pop it real quick so excuse me plus i take pills really dramatically because i don't like taking pills but if it's for me to get a baby i'll do it There we go. So yeah. I don't have much to say about it yet. Now if I end up being pregnant. After just a month of taking these. I'm going to tell everyone to get them. Because. That'd be crazy as hell. But it's unfortunate that I really can't find any reviews online. Really up for this. That seem like they're actual people. That got pregnant no YouTube videos really about it so it's crazy to me but I've been taking them faithfully haven't missed a single day um I put it in a different pill bottle so my boyfriend thinks it's like my vitamins so he'll even remind me and throw them to me and be like don't forget to take your vitamins and I'm like don't worry I won't baby but um, in my other video, I had went over the fact that I think I had got a faint positive on a pregnate pregnancy test. Now, like I said in the other video, haven't liked this brand. Well, I like pregnate brand, but not this style. I like their blue 8CG pregnancy strips, not these red pregnancy strips, because almost every single one I've taken has shown a little indent or evap line. And even before the time frame and everyone ha has that has seen it has been like are you sure it's not a positive and i'm like no because it's been faint since for like two weeks now since i ordered them online and that's very confusing for me but i'm knowing that if i take one of these and then i take another brand if it's not faint on that one too then it's not a faint line so i got this faint i'm gonna take another one of another brand in a couple hours. I know you guys won't be able to see it, but I want to try again anyway. I tried it in the last video. Come on, someone focus. Ooh, it actually kind of focused. I don't know if you guys can see that. I feel like I can kind of see it on the camera, actually. You guys let me know in the comments other than that i want to hope everyone has a very very blessed day i love you guys and i hope you have a great rest of your weekend my weekend's practically over i'm off on fridays and saturdays and i work on sundays so once this day is over that's it oh my boobs feel so heavy right now i feel like my boobs get sore when i'm up and about and moving around Hold on, let me focus this again on my face. When I'm up and about and moving around, that's when my boobs feel sore. But they don't ever feel sore when I'm like laying in the bed unless I'm laying on them. It's weird. All right. God bless you all. You guys have a very, very good night. Peace.